Yeah. <laughs> I'd hug you, but you can wrinkle in. And you have glitter all over <laughs> you. I started to wonder something I can't deny. In a moment unfolding before my very eyes. And Beloved, we are gathered here today in the sign of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman, Matt and Regan, in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying unto us the mystical union that exists between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly but reverently, discreetly and in the fear of God, into this holy estate these two persons come now to be joined. Who presents this woman to be wed? Her mother and I. I'm Matt, take you Regan. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. 
to have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. <laughs> according to God's holy ordinance. And according to God's holy ordinance. <laughs> and thereto I pledge my faith. And thereto I pledge my faith. I, Regan, take you, Matt. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death does do part. Till death does do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge you my faith. And thereto I pledge you my faith. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In token and pledge of our constant faith, of our constant faith, and abiding love, and abiding love, with this ring I thee wed, with this ring I thee wed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In token and pledge, in token and in pledge, of our constant faith, of our constant faith, and abiding love, and abiding love, with this ring I thee wed, with this ring I thee wed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. For as much. <laughs> As Matt and Regan have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God in this company, and thereto have pledged their faith each to the other, and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those who God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Amen. Creator, preserver of us all, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send your blessings upon Matt and Regan, whom we bless in your name, that they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between them made, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to your laws. Look graciously upon them, that they may love, honor, and cherish each other, and so live together in faithfulness, and patience, and wisdom, and true godliness that their home may be a heaven, a haven, a blessing, and a place of peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may the God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord graciously with his favor look upon you and so fill with all spiritual benediction and love that you may so live together in this life and in the world to come, everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> May I now introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Mesmer. <laughs>
for those of you who don't know me, I'm Spencer, Regan's favorite sibling. <laughs> I think it's safe to say my speech has been the moment both Regan and I have been dreading. <laughs> I've been dreading it because public speaking is not my forte, but Regan's been dreading it for a different reason. She's afraid of what I'm going to say. <laughs> But Regan, you can relax. There's no reason to be afraid because I've decided to just tell a story that will benefit Matt. Oh, good. Regan and Matt have been together for quite some time. They've been living together. So I think it's safe to say they know each other pretty well. But I thought I'd share this knowledge with Matt as sort of a cautionary tale of what could happen. When we were young, I was oftentimes put in charge of watching over both Regan and Gage. Typically, it was for short periods of time when our parents would run errands. On one such occasion, Mama's boy Gage, who was probably four or five, decided he didn't want to stay with us. I don't know why. We're pretty fun. Gage attempted to run away. <laughs> he made it down the street, but our parents were in Jasper, and we live in Huntingburg, so he wasn't going to get to him. We chased him down the street. We dragged him back to the house, but he kept trying to escape. So Regan and I tied him to the dining room chair with a jump rope. <laughs> Needless to say, he couldn't escape after that. <laughs> now this might seem like a strange story to tell, but Matt, again, this is a cautionary tale that if you try to escape Regan and our family, we are not above tying you to a chair. <laughs> On a more serious note, I'm thrilled that Regan has found a great guy to spend her life with. I trust that he will love you, care for you, and manage your mood swings like a pro. <laughs> I can't wait to watch your new life unfold and see what great things you'll accomplish together. Now, if you all will raise your glasses to Regan Matt and their new life together. Cheers. These are the good times in the blue sky, sunset, sunrise, living my best life. These are the good times, nothing but blue sky, sunset, in the sunlight. Good evening. I'm Drew Matt's uh, younger brother. I want to take a second to, to thank Mark and Tina, mom, dad, for, for getting this thing together. It's, it's been a great day. Mark and Tina, you've done a great job. Mom and dad, not bad for your first try. Not bad. Being the younger brother by almost three years presents some challenges, you know, physically. So I, I'll recall a story of our, our, our final fight. So we were in the backyard and it, and it was finally time to, to lay it down and, and see how it happened. So Matt had me pinned down and I had two options. I could lose or I could do something a little dirty. So uh, I bit him really hard in the back. And that was our last fight and I came out victorious. So I'm really proud of that. And, and since that day, he's had my back ever since. We've, we've done a lot of things together with, with basketball. He's been, been there, been one of my biggest supporters that I've ever had. Coached the first basketball team with me that I've ever been been a part of. Went to New York, LA with me, supported me. Went to my first college game. Went to my, you know, at, at Midway, he was there for me. It's just a really special moment when your brother is not just your brother, but he's your best friend and one of your biggest supporters. So I really, I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. And and Regan, just know he's gonna do the same thing for you. He's gonna do the same thing for you. I'll tell another story real quick. I remember the first time that, that Matt and Regan got together. We left a graduation party from the, from the English side of the family. Lance and I went, and, and Matt's like, hey, Regan Fetter's there. We're like, okay, good deal. We get there, and we almost leave, and, and he goes, hang on a second. We're about to leave, and he goes, hang on a second. I'm gonna go talk to her. Okay, good deal. So he goes and talks to her, comes back into the Jeep, and Lance and I jokes that he was on cloud nine. On the ride back from, from, from the Get Fest, we blared, I got a brand new girlfriend. Well, tonight, you got a brand new wife. So, good stuff. Regan, just remember, if you have a boy, I'm probably gonna recruit him hard. We can always use more guards for the Rangers. We, we could definitely use one. But let's raise our glasses and toast to the new couple. Maybe we could chase the sun, do what we've never done, just to feel alive. 